What's up, you guys? Today we are here at Funko Fun Days. If you guys don't know what Fun Days is, it's basically like the biggest Funko party that they hold every single year at San Diego Comic-Con. But today I am here. I want to show you the event, everything that goes on, all the cool pops that they give away and everything like that. Should be a good time. So without any further ado, let's get started. Here we go. All right, guys, I wanna give you a lay of the land of how things are, like the line situation, how they have it set up. So we're gonna do a little bit of a tour of this overall venue, cause it's a really cool one. So this year, Fun Days is being held at the Rady Shell. This is a place that's like an outdoor venue that's here in San Diego that they do concerts at and everything, but they have Fun Days here this year. And essentially there's gonna be four different teams like there is with every Fun Days. That's how they split up everybody that comes to the event. So it's camp themed this year. So we have the bears, we also have the Protomo wolves, the Eagles and also the Papawaka Lumberjack. So should be a good time with all the teams. But like I was saying, I wanna walk around this whole venue so you guys can kind of see what it looks like before we go in. Cause there is some fun things that we can see. So every year they actually do give out boxes of fun which have some really limited piece count Freddies. So as you can see right here guys, there are some boxes right there and those are gonna have some awesome Funko Pops inside of them. Here is the setup. I kind of came around back right here but I wanna give you a sneak preview of what's to come so you can see the stage right there that a couple of like video boards and stuff but everybody's going to be sitting at all these tables but yeah this gives you a good look of what it is going to look like here in a little bit so we're going to go back in line this place doesn't open up for another hour and a half so the next footage that you guys see will probably be that all right my man skyler has been here since how long have you been here 1 30 p.m yesterday 1 30 and he just got a proto from funko andre the giant that's awesome man yeah. such a cool proto all right folks we got about 10 minutes now we've moved up in line right here Ready to get our ticket scanned, go on in and uh, see what's in store for us. It's gonna be fun. I'm not gonna lie, this was a little bit chaotic, guys. So I'm doing a little bit of a voice over here, but they essentially gave you a bunch of different stuff, a poster, a hat, a bag, and this box that had three mystery pops and also three mystery sodas. So you had to essentially put everything in your bag. And uh, it, it was a lot of stuff, guys. My hands were definitely full. They also gave you a sack lunch, which the food was not very good. And we'll talk about that here in a second. But uh, yeah, the bag's pretty cool because it's almost like a backpack as well. All right, folks, we are officially in. Here is the first little photo op that we're gonna do here in a second. I got all my stuff. It's a little chaotic, guys, but we'll rest here for a second, but this is the first thing that I've seen. All right, folks, we made it into the main venue. I'm trying to find my table. I don't know where it is, but we'll find it in a second. So I'm gonna open up my box. I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted right now, but Danielle already opened up her box. I'm gonna open mine and see what I get. All right, here we go. Okay, I think, did we get the exact same box? All right, here we go, guys. So we've got Freddy Funko as Peacemaker, 250 P's. We also have Freddy Funko as Wolverine, 250 P's. And Freddy Funko as Anakin Skywalker, 250 P's. But let's see what else we got. We got Freddy Funko's Darth Vader soda. We have the Freddy Funko Batman rainbow suit, okay. And then Freddy Funko as Big Boy. Sick, guys. We got some good stuff. All right, guys. Juan yeah. from DTLA, he's got his box. Let's see what you got, man. What do we get? Freddy Funko as Where's Waldo, 850. That's sick, dude. That's, That's awesome. Cool. All right, we got Freddy Funko. Is that Blacklight Shaggy? Blacklight Shaggy. That's sick, dude. Yeah. Okay, what else do we got? What's your last one? All right, Freddy Funko as Pinocchio. Yeah. That's sweet, dude. I love it. And what so sodas did you get? Let's see your sodas. Check this out. Okay. Okay. Oh, Darth Vader. All right, thousand piece. Okay. All right, we got Freddy Funko Rainbow Suit Batman. Right. right on. And then which one's that one? Oh, it's Thor. Yeah. All right, right on. That's awesome. That's sick. That's cool. So showing off some other Freddies that we have here, we have a Freddy Funko as Vision, Freddy Chewbacca, and also Anakin. All of them have different piece counts. I saw a little bit of everything, guys, and we have some sodas as well. Showing off some other Freddies here, guys. We have a Captain America Freddy limited to 500 pieces, another Vision, another Anakin, Freddy Funko as Blue Beetle, which is a solid one at 250 pieces, Waldo, Pinocchio again. We also have another Vision, and we have a 100 piece right over here, Overwatch Genji. That's pretty sweet as well. We're gonna see some more Freddies throughout the night, but I figured I'd show you a couple. All right, folks, I stepped away from a little bit because it was getting just crazy. But anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and show you some more of the set pieces that are around here and uh, a little bit more of what's going on. We showed off some Freddies. I'm sure we'll show off more throughout the whole night, but I needed to 
calm down for a second, guys. There was a lot of craziness going on there for a bit. Okay, so the stuff that we haven't really shown off yet are some of these like bigger like photo displays, guys. So you have a little Camp Fun Days map, a little thing that just says Funko Camp Fun Days, and also a really cool photo op where you can do a little like Freddy Ranger box and put yourself inside of the box. That's pretty sweet. And there gives you another shot of the entire venue. The show's about to start here in a little bit, guys, so uh, that'll probably be the next footage of when the show actually starts. Here's another shot of another Freddy, guys. We have Freddy Funko as Megatron, 500-piece metallic. That's pretty awesome. And a Freddy Funko as Midas, Golden Midas or something, from Fortnite. Another pretty limited one as well. is gonna get this wonderful hand card medallion. We're gonna have some competitions tonight and we're gonna find out which team is the best. So here on out, I'm gonna give you a recap of everything that's going on. So all the different teams, the Eagles, we were the Bears, they announced the Bears. They also gave us a mascot pop limited to 850 because that's how many people were on each team. So that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Coming up next, guys, we also have the Papa Wapa Lumberjacks was the other team and also the Wolves. So four different teams, 850 on each team. Everybody got a mascot pop and there were competitions. So the first competition was to build a campfire with some inflatable stuff. And also you won a Freddy Spock if you won the overall competition. So I be honest, we didn't end up winning. The Lumberjacks ended up winning this one. It's it's okay, because I didn't really want the Freddy Funko as the Lumberjack. We have Gabriel Iglesias. They had some celebrities that came out. He announced some new pops. One of his new pops was a Jumping Fluffy that he announced was gonna be available here soon. Some tables got a random like 300 piece metallic Freddy that was given out to some people. There's a shot of some of the people that got them. We didn't get them, but that's okay. It's one that I didn't want it, but I'd show it to you at least. And also, he also got an award for being a part of the Funko Celebrity Hall of Fame. He also announced a new S'mores Boy pop that everybody in the crowd ended up getting. And here is a little shot of S'mores Boy. It actually is a pretty cute pop, guys. There's some fun details of some badges that he's wearing Wearing. that's like chase stickers and stuff like that. So I thought that was cool. Agent McLean came out next. McLean, excuse me, came out next from Backstreet Boys. He gave away some uh, metallic 25th anniversary birthday Freddy Pops, which I thought was kind of cool. Some random tables ended up getting it. We weren't one of the random tables, but that's okay. It wasn't one that I wanted either. They also announced his brand new pop, kind of showed off the concept of it. Next up, guys, they were doing another competition. It was for a Freddy Funko as Mike from Stranger Things. And essentially what it was was a team dance-off. So they kind of had each team. They had the stage. AJ McLean was up there. And the Eagles ended up winning that mic. Kind of a bummer. The mic would have been a cool one to get. Brian went up there, guys, and he announced a bunch of new pops and everything. So here's a couple of them. We have Dungeons & Dragons. That's pretty sweet. A Shadow and Super Shadow 2-pack from Sonic. We have some Schoolhouse Rock Pops, which me and my wife thought were really cool. We have some new Rudolph Pops. Cool that we're finally getting more of those. More straight or House of Dragons. I almost said Stranger Things. One Piece as well. People were going crazy for the One Piece Pops. Biddy Pops for Toy Story. I think those were kind of fun. Kind of excited to collect those. And also a Star Wars game that they actually ended up giving to us. Don't really know much about it. Maybe we'll have to do something on this later. But they also announced some sodas as well. And everybody in the crowd got a soda. It was random though. Me and my wife both ended up getting Proto the dog. I kind of wanted to get one of each. But hey, that's okay. At least we got two of those. So that is pretty sweet and cool soda. Next competition was to sing a campfire song and uh, we didn't end up winning that, but whoever did got the Freddy Funko's Wolverine 850 piece and the wolves ended up winning that one. So kind of a bummer we didn't get that one, but Loungefly came up next, announced a bunch of new products, new bags, that kind of stuff. One of the noticeable ones was Nightmare Before Christmas. A lot of people were excited about that. And uh, Corey Feldman came up next, another celebrity. He talked actually about his new Funko Pop that's coming out in relation to a music tour that he's doing. I didn't even know that he did music, but he also gave out some more of those birthday Freddies, which was kind of a cool thing for him to do. But uh, we ended up winning the competition. It was the loudest team with Corey Feldman, and we got Freddy Funko as Ron Weasley, limited to 850 piece, which was awesome. They also announced some Funko Rewind figures of Mike 
and Brian. And uh, they also gave us some eBay branded pop protectors, which weren't really eBay branded. It was just the insert in the middle was eBay. They were just the normal pop protectors. Thought that was interesting. Some people ended up getting the 300 piece uh, SpongeBob that was right there. Final competition was to build a s'more. It was kind of like the fire one. You had a bunch of inflatables and we ended up winning that one, guys. And we got a really cool Freddy Funko for that, which was Freddy Funko as Ted Lasso. And I was absolutely super happy about that one because I love Ted Lasso. It's one of my favorite shows that's out right now. And we were just celebrating our win. We ended up winning the entire thing and uh, we got a cool medal as well because we won the most competitions. I thought that was pretty fun. Everybody ended up getting a Freddy Ranger and compass, which I thought was pretty cool. There's the little compass right there. I don't know really what the whole point of it was. It was kind of fun though. And then Bigfoot finally came out guys and it was pretty much just to announce that everybody was getting a different Bigfoot pop. So you can see there was four different versions. Me and my wife ended up getting two out of the four. You'll find out here in a second which ones we got. But that was pretty much it guys. The whole night, all the pops that they announced, everything that they give away. And uh, I'll give you a quick recap of everything I got. All right, folks, so that's gonna do it for fun days. We're gonna recap everything I got because we got a ton of stuff i just wanted to give you a quick recap that we did some trades and everything like that and that's pretty much it for the night so i'll see you guys in a second all right folks back at home i'm gonna give you a quick recap of everything that i ended up picking up first off i ended up getting a poster i'm trying to make it flat because it was all rolled up but if you guys want to take a look at that i love the art design on here camp fun days 2023 we also have all the different you know characters mascots that they announced and everything like that mike and brian's right there and also sasquatch i, I think i want to get this one framed it's a pretty cool poster but as far as everything else guys that we have and here we have our pops we have our sodas we were able to get two of uh the sodas that we were able to get that i showed off in the video because we ended up getting two boxes between me and my wife so the freddy funko big boy the rainbow batman the darth vader and also proto the dog and here's a little look at the uh, box that everything did come in so the little school bus box pretty awesome i love how it was designed the overall theme this year was awesome with the whole camp theme i thought it was genius it, it worked out really well there's a closer look guys at the blockbuster rewind figure so that one is of uh brian mariotti and this one is of mike becker I don't really know much about the Blockbuster Rewind figures because they are so brand new, but I, I guess we'll see if they catch on. There's another shot of our medal that we won for being the winning team. If you guys wanted to take a look at the Bigfoots, my wife and I were able to get two out of the four. So we got the blonde kind of haired colored one, limited to 850 pieces. And then we also got the regular colored Bigfoot. So that's like the dark brown one, also limited to 850. Would have been cool to get the black light one or the Yeti one, but hey, I'll take these. And here is essentially all of the Freddy Funkos that we got, guys. So here's the ones that pretty much everybody got. So S'mores Boy, I, I ended up actually thinking that this was a pretty cute pop. I love the little details of his little badges, how they're like chases and like flock stickers, stuff like that we also have uh each each person got their own you know like mascot pop so we were the bears so we got the flocked one limited to 850 pieces because that's how many were on our team we have the freddy ranger that's over here which is an awesome one and honestly they came out with some really great freddies not just like you know random made up ones like the ranger one but for all the different characters that they had this year it was pretty sweet so one of the competitions that we ended up winning guys was uh i can't remember which one this one was specifically maybe loudest team or something and we ended up winning the freddy funko as ron weasley which is I'm not mistaken, I think it's the first ever Harry Potter Freddy Funko. And then since we won the whole competition, we ended up winning the most. We ended up getting a Ted Lasso along with that medal, which I was absolutely hyped about. I love Ted Lasso. So this was a perfect one for our team to win and for me to win as well. So I'm happy to add this to the collection. So as you guys know, me and my wife ended up pulling the same box. It had a Wolverine, a Peacemaker, and also an Anakin. I ended up actually trading away my Wolverines. You guys might think I'm crazy, but for one of the Wolverines, since it was a 250 piece, I wanted the Space Kook. This was also 250 piece. So I figured that was a pretty good straight across trade. And I think this was probably the best Freddy Funko of the night. I, it would have been really cool if they made a glow in the dark version with his head, you know, the white part glowing in the dark. I thought that would have been cool. I ended up also trading my other Wolverine for two different ones 
ones. So I wanted Shaggy, so I ended up getting Shaggy 750 piece black light. That's an awesome one. The black light on that looks great because there's so many different colors. And they also threw in a Freddy Funko as Chewbacca. I figured that was a pretty decent trade. A lot of you might think I'm crazy for trading away my Wolverine because apparently it's pretty sought after right now. But for, you know, for one of the Wolverines, for Chewbacca and Shaggy, I thought it was pretty good. And since they were both 250 pieces, I ended up doing this one straight across. So we still have two Freddy Funkos as Peacemaker limited to 250 piece. If anybody wants that one, hit me up because I'm definitely trading that one. And, you know, speaking of trades and speaking of things that we have multiple of, we have the Freddy Funko as Anakin, which ended up being the most most sought after pop of the entire show. I had no idea. I guess Star Wars fans are crazy. I personally, I like Star Wars, but I'm not the hugest fan. So I'm going to hold on to these for a little bit. But if anybody's interested, hit me up, guys. Because, you know, like I said, me and my wife both got a box. We got the same one. And we got two of the Anakin. So if you're interested in that, let me know. But I mean, to give you my quick little one minute, two minute recap, maybe some pros or cons of the event. Let's start off with the cons. Cons, the food was not very good compared to last year. I mean, they ended up giving us a weird sack lunch that had like some weird, like kind of uncooked chicken on a sandwich. It was just really strange considering that they ended up charging more for tickets this year. I'm not sure why the food ended up taking, you know, a cut, kind of a downturn. So that was one of my cons. The other one was the fact that they didn't give out any prototypes. So last year they gave a prototype to everyone and I'm not sure, maybe it was because they expanded the amount of people that were there that they weren't able to give prototypes to everybody. But, uh, you know, so that was kind of a bummer. But this perfectly leads into one of my pros, which they gave away some great stuff tonight. So the fact that they didn't have protos, I think they made up for it for, you know, how limited piece some of this stuff was. I mean, I saw like 100 piece items, 250 piece items, and the Freddy Funkos that they gave away were actually really cool. Like some of the top ones were like the Anakin one, the Wolverine, there was a Captain America one that people were really excited about. So as far as the characters that they had and the different variety of Freddy Funkos, I think that made up for it for the overall protos that they didn't have. And another pro, I really liked the venue. I think they put on a great show. I think the whole layout was pretty great as well. So I would say, I think actually this fun days was probably better than last year in my opinion. You'll have to let me know if you've been to both events, which one you like better, but I think this year was, was just a little bit better. I think I enjoyed it more. But that's gonna do it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite pop that they ended up announcing or giving away at the event. Mine had to be Space Kook and probably Shaggy. Those were pretty sweet. Also guys, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Like all Always remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. <gasps>